Hello there, my name is Joe and welcome to my channel. Today, I thought we'd take a look at how we can create a image to image in Comfy UI. Now, I'm, I'm no expert in this. I've only been doing this for a few days myself. Um, so this may not be a great presentation, it might not even be a good one, but I have managed to cobble together um, enough to be able to generate an image to image. So I, I thought I'd share with you what I've got so far. So um, let's give that a go. Okay, so to get us started, I have opened up Comfy UI. I have clicked on the load default. So we've now got in front of us a default workspace. The only difference um, is that on my workspace here, I've added a note where I've just put in some notes of what I'm going to be going through today. Other than that, this is the default workspace. Okay, so first thing we need to do, if we want to do text to text, is um, add load image. So if we come across find a space, right click, select add node, come down to image and select load image. That's going to give us a box and we can choose a image that we want to use for our image to image. I'll, um, while I'm here, I'll just select a fresh image. So I'm going to use for this example, I'm going to use this image here. Click open. So we've now got this old image that I generated in Stable Diffusion 1.5, I think, ages ago, of a Brazilian carnival dancer type image. So I'm going to use that as the base image. Um, I've already copied in the details um, for my prompt and settings, etc. And I'll just go through those quickly now. So in my prompt, I've asked positive prompt. That is, I've asked for a futuristic female warrior in red armor, holding a sword and a futuristic battleground background. Coming across to the case sampler settings, um, I've gone for 30 steps. CFG I've set to eight and I've gone for DMP2 sampler with Karaz as the scheduler and the denoise I've set to 0 0.8 and that's about it. Okay, so that, that's the, the settings that I've added at the moment. Got a couple of changes to make and um, let's just do that now. So our next step is to add the VAE encode. So again, just find a blank space on our workspace, right click, add node, come across and come down to latent. And you'll see here VAE encode and we'll left click and select that. So we've now got our VAE encode. Now, whilst we're in the VAE, the VAE encode, we're going to connect the pixels to the image connection on load image. There we go. We are going to connect the VAE to the load checkpoint VAE. So click on that, pull that across to the load checkpoint load checkpoint VAE so we've done that and then we connect the latent to the case sampler latent so we connect from latent to the we see here the case sampler latent and that's done too now we are pretty much I think ready to try to generate our image. Now the only, before I do that though, the one thing I do want to point out is that when we added this VA encode and I added the latent to the latent image here on the case sampler, that has disconnected the empty latent image here. So 
this is not now going to do anything when we run this process. So problem that causes me, and I haven't yet worked out how to get around this, is that I, I cannot control the size of my image or how many images um, I want it to produce in one go. So at the moment, I'm hoping to get just one result and the, the image size and the ratio will be based on this um, initial image here. But so this is something I'm working on, but we've still got enough information, I hope, for us to be able to generate image to image. So if I come across now to Q prompt and click on that, hopefully we won't get any error messages and we'll uh, start going through the process to generate an image to image. Okay, we see we've got one job in the queue and already the job is going through. So it looks like we're going to get a result now on my computer, I have um, AMD um, graphics. So this is gonna be quite slow for me. So I will come back in a moment once this image has been generated. And we're back in the room. Okay, so we've got a result now. So um, yeah, I'm pleased with that. So let's um, take a quick look at the image. So I'm just gonna go into my folder there. Let's open up this image. Well, up a bit not too fussed about the quality of the image I'm just um, more interested in whether or not we've picked up the details from the donor image and from the prompts and we can see so we've got from the donor image we have our Brazilian dancer with the fancy headdress etc etc um, we've got the on the new image she is still in the same pose. The headdress has been turned into um, part of the background now, which is quite nice. We've got the red armor. She's a lady warrior holding a sword. So it's pretty much done it. So really pleased with that. I'll just, while we're here, I'll just flick through my previous attempts today well, to do this. Um, so that was one of the first efforts. So we get no, no details at all. Um, and that was pro probably um, the issues I was having was not getting the, um, the noise right. So look through some of these. They have started to um, slightly get a better result, a different result. I mean, it's a terrible quality image, but it was starting to take shape. Um, started going wrong again then started to um, pick up a bit again. Again, I think I was um, dabbling with noise until eventually got to that one, which I was pleased with. And the settings for that image are very, very similar to the, the settings um, for the final image that, you, that we've just generated. And I think uh, I think for that one, I just changed the prompt very slightly to say wearing red armor, whereas originally on that previous image, I didn't mention armor at all. I just said a female futuristic warrior. So um, yeah, so that's it. So the lessons I've learned from this is to, to get um, a half decent image. I had to try find the, the right balance between the steps, the CFG, and probably most importantly, the denoise. Um, so I used 0 0.8 um, today. Um, you're, you're supposed to never go past one. If you do, um, the world will be destroyed or something like that. So always keep it under one. If you go too low, um, your resulting image will look almost identical to your donor image. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with what I've managed to achieve. As I said before, I am new to this. I'm, an, I'm a newbie and I haven't yet learned how to solve this issue here with the empty latent image. I want to be able to control the size of my image and I want to be able to control how many images I, I actually um, want. So that's something else to be worked on. But in the short term, at least I can now produce a image to image in Comfy UI which is what I was hoping to achieve today.
So um, the notes that I've made, I'll put into my into the comments in my YouTube if they're of any interest to you. I was using a Juggernaut Excel model and there's no Laura's or anything. So if you want, if you're a newbie and you want to give this a go, this should be fairly easy to do. If you haven't got Juggernaut model, then you could just use the um, Stable Diffusion Excel would be a, a good one to try it with. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, I hope you found this useful. Um, thank you very much indeed for your time and goodbye.